is it now? Feral dwarves? Irradiated death claws? What? What's all this about death claws? Oh, old Paul! <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting visitors. Thank you, friend. Something up? Well, cheese and crackers. You must be the ones with the ASM sensors, eh? Uh, me and my partner here, yeah. And they're called ASAMs. Is it true what the old geezer said? Can ASAMs really help build up settlements? Well, sure. As long as what your settlement needs are some homes or farms or a scrap heap. But I should warn you, recently there's been some trouble with... Geez, a scrap heap? Well, that settles it. We'll take 100 assums, please. Ah, uh, how many caps does that come to? Whoa, whoa, slow down. We're not just peddling some product here. Besides, I'm not even sure we should be handing these things out anymore. What makes you say that? I mean, don't tell me you've already forgotten. That Aiden guy may have been a Brahmin's ass, but he did have a point. It's a fair bet that settlement got attacked because they used ASAMs. Who's to say the same thing wouldn't happen again? There's no good answer. Taking action puts us at risk, but inaction could be deadly. I'm just not sure it's right to give out sensors to random settlements no more. Not if it puts them in danger. If you're concerned about giving sensors out to strangers, why not have them join us instead? I've got no problem defending those we bring into the fold. Hey, we'd be happy to join with you. Right now we're kind of living rough, so whatever it takes to get some assums, eh? I don't know. You need to decide, Jake. What's it going to be? I... I don't know. After the whole gunner thing. But what do you think, Slick? What's the right thing to do? Don't worry. I'll get you up and running. Really? You'd have us? Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I still think we may be asking for trouble. But I think you're right. We can't be scared to help folks. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you really don't know what this means to us. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Welcome to the family. Uh, sorry, what's your name? Hubert. Here, I'll mark where we're staying on your pit boy I'll run ahead and tell the others. Meet you there, eh? I'll tag along with the youngin. I'm fairly familiar with sensors by now. I'll get his people up to speed before you arrive. Here, Slick, take these. A few extra ASAMs, in case you need them. Let's get these folks up and running. And if the gunners do show up again, well, we'll just have to put them in their place, won't we? I'm gonna get back to repairing the hub. Oh, and, uh, thanks again for listening today. Good luck now. Day of the week, Hubert. See? Here they are now, I told ya. All our building problems are solved. You really are an idiot, Hubert. After I've dealt with this, remind me to explain the meaning of low profile to you. Okay, that's far enough. Throw your weapon on the ground. Let's see those hands in the air. Ho, oh, let's calm down. Let's talk this out. There's nothing to talk about. Hubert may have asked to join you, but he doesn't speak for all of us. 
And I don't for a second believe what he or this old man say about these ASM sensors. ASAMs. ASAM, whatever. Look, I don't want to hurt you. But I don't trust your reasons for being here. So please, just hand over your weapon. But I want to help you guys. Sorry, I'm not buying it. Okay, fine. Here's everything I've got. Finally! Thank you. I'll just put your weapon in this footlocker. Nice and safe. Don't worry. You'll get it back when we're done here. See, Stodge? He handed over his weapons. Nice and friendly-like. He's not here to hurt us. So why not listen about the Assams now, eh? If we join this nice fella, he'd help us build this place into a real home. Youngest, right. Seen these sensors in action myself. Just the thing for a fledgling settlement. Okay, fine. If it shuts the two of you up, I'll listen. But I'm still not convinced these things are the answer to a new home. What would it take to convince you? Okay. Even if I did believe these ASAMs do everything I've been told, how do I know we could trust you? We just had our old home taken from us by goddamn mercenaries. Had to flee just so we wouldn't become indentured workers. So I can't say I'm thrilled with the idea of us running, only to be leashed by some new landlord making promises they can't keep. Even if these senses of yours work, I'd need to know we're not signing over our independence and freedom. I need to know you're on the level. All people want to be free. They just need the opportunity to take it. And just what the hell is that supposed to mean? Exactly what he said. The sensors just provide you the means. But the responsibility's on you. You put in the work, and what you build is yours. Now that sure sounds like independence and freedom to me. Well, uh, when you put it like that. Okay, I'll go along with this whole censor thing. We'll join with you. You better not try and screw us over. Oh, great. With Stodge on board, everyone else will fall right in line. But I've one condition, and it's non-negotiable. We'll join with you, and use your sensors. But you've got to let us decide how we use them. If we're going to make a new home, then we should have the say in how it's built. Fair enough. All right. Well then, uh, I think we can make this work. Okay, everyone, listen up. This is how we're gonna do things. We need to decide on a leader. Someone who can take charge of the building effort, and then run the place once construction's done. Most of us have skills that'd be useful in a leadership position. So anyone who thinks they're up to the task, step forward and make yourself known. I'll go first. What the? I can't say I expected Hubert to step forward. But what are you doing, old man? You're not one of us. I've already benefited from the sensors. If I can, I'd like to return some of the kindness shown to me and help you people out. I know I may not look like much, but I've been around a while. Reckon I could offer some useful guidance. At least until you're on your feet. Hmm. Fair enough. But all three of us can't leave. We'll have to pick just one of us. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you decide who gets put in charge? I think you'd probably choose a good leader. Why do I have to be involved in this? Well, you're kind of already involved. I mean, we are joining you, eh? And it's thanks to you and your assums we're able to do this. Plus, I think you make a good choice in picking the best person to lead us. Mm. 
All right. I'll do it. Well, that's all kinds of fantastic. I can't wait to see who you pick. I'm running low on food. Hey there. A little cold. How's it going, eh? Could really use Got someone in mind for the job? Spare. Okay. Say your piece. Oh, like, what would I do if I was in charge? Whew, that's a head-scratcher for sure. Well, suppose I could ask my old church friends to help out. You know, if we're ever in trouble or something. And I guess just try and make the people happy. A smile can go a long way, you know? Just don't ask me to keep no town records or nothing. I ain't much for bookkeeping and stuff. Too many numbers, you know? I still haven't decided. Oh, okay then. I'm running low on food for little Cola. Could really use anything you have to spare. Sure. Here you go. Oh, much obliged, much obliged. This'll do nicely. Say thank you, little Cola. Hello. Hey there. Made your pick, have you? Okay, say your piece. You mean, what would I do if I was in charge? Guns! Guns for everyone! Nothing says settlement safety like everyone carrying a loaded firearm. And I guess I could share some of my expertise from my days as a scaver. Show everyone the right way to strip down salvage and how to properly maintain things. Youngsters don't know how to care for stuff these days. I'll think about it and get back to you. Alrighty, take your time. Hey. Hi, how are you? Excuse me. Huh? You made up your mind? Okay, say your piece. What? I gotta sell myself? Ah, uh, fine. If you put me in charge, you can expect things to be efficient and done right. I run a tight ship, and I don't take no crap. I'd put my focus on defense and making sure everyone pays their dues. And if people don't like it, they can suck it. I'll have to think about it a bit more before I decide. Fine. Yeah. Hi. Oh, it's you. Hi. Made your pick, have you? I've made my choice. I'm all ears. Who'd you go with? How about you? Aha! This old goat still got some life left in him after all.
Okie dokie. Let's get this show on the road. Grab your tools and let's hop to it, you layabouts. Let's get you a new home built. You know, these ASAMs really are a wonder. Commonwealth's got a bright future ahead, no doubt about it. Now, don't you worry no more about this place. I'll do my darndest to make sure it's run right in your name. So, off with you. Run along now. Suggest you come and see this thing in action. But it seems the calm up decided Explode would be a better use of its time. You should still head on back. Fill me in on how things went with those folks. By the time you arrive, I should have the hub up and running again. Just need to replace those damn tubes. Calculating chance of success less than 5%. That's enough out of you. This has been a pre-recorded message. Hmm. Message repeats in three seconds. 